And guys, I'm playing here a pocket as the Saracens. My allies are the Indians, Japanese and Vikings and enemies are Vietnamese, Chinese, Berbers and Mayans. Let's hope for the Saracens to still perform as good as they used to perform back then with the Mamelukes. Uh, Stark, are you good playing the Hunts meta, Scout and Archers? Well man, I honestly do not consider myself, my skills to be uh, well applied in this meta. But I once won a tournament, man, uh, of hands only. It was two years ago when I won against NBL on the finals. I got Emin on the semifinals. Hero was playing as well, so spring a lot of those guys were playing, and I still won. So I can, I still can do fine, but I'm much more like uh, going for a more defensive game or a booming game. Hands are not my style, man. <laughs> But I can still do my, my job. The tournament name was uh, Legacy of the Hunts. You can find it in AOC Zone. It was played on regular AOC, no Wololo Kingdoms and no other patches. You just have to go for the tournament section on AOC zone and you are going to find it. But yeah, I could still try to play this. But I, I'm honestly uh, much more happy that now the meta has changed and we are not only doing this hun this un thing, you know. I like when civilizations are a bit more balanced and we have to use other strategies. Uh, of course, in tournaments when I had to pick civilizations, I would never pick the Huntsman in 1v1 or things like this because the Mayans could be much more dangerous in, at my hands. And people use it also to love the Aztecs, so I would mostly go for Mayans or Aztecs. Things have ch really changed. Huh? Today I would probably be much more like a Malians guy. Huh? Malians are really good. Aztecs, of course, are the most OP civilization, but I also like how the Malians do, especially on the early game. So my ally was being stilled, and this I, is 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 really easy to explain because the enemy has the Vietnamese. And the Vietnamese has no economical bonus. Their bonus is to know where enemy is on the beginning and to use this as their advantage to steal or maybe forward. That was probably why he was stolen. Interesting. Let me try to lure. Oh, oh, oh. this deer has traveled a long way. Oh my god, I lo almost lost a villager here. Those villagers are trying to make my life a bit harder by not allowing me to lure them correctly. But no problem. I will probably make a second uh, lumber camp in another position, probably here close to the gold and make buildings to protect it. I hope enemies are no, oh, no, I just lured close to the villager and the villager sent the deer back. I'm not having a good time with the deers today, mostly because it requires a lot of mode tasking and focus and when I'm trying to talk and explain what I'm doing, I usually fail to do this, this deer thing. No problem. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> oh, my pocket's going for full camels, and I do not have Paladin <laughs> as well. I, I'm, I'm Saracen, 
So I guess guys that we are going to see a lot of camels in this game. Indians and Saracens, the camelry is back. <laughs> yep, I'm probably focusing more on the explanation than in my own game. I'm going up with a good population here. Someone paused it. Uh, let me see once again the the civilizations. Huh? One of the yes. enemies is against player one Chinese, uh, really nice because they wouldn't mm -hmm. like to play Saracen against Chinese. Uh, so the one is, is against Chinese is playing mm -hmm. as Vikings, this is nice. And the other civilizations are uh, Vietnamese, Berbers and Mayans, oh good civilizations. Huh? My ally is going for crossbows, I hope I'm not a uh, target. I won't be targeted by the other guys, man. This is happened quite often when my allies are going for fast castles. Their guy just come to me. How do you rate Saracens at Arabia? Uh, well, Dr. Slow, I think that the problem with the Saracens is the lack of economical bonus. So they kind of lacked it a bit. They are not so good, but they can be really stronger when you come uh, later to the Imperial because they have a good Arbalest line, they have all the siege, they have good cavalry archers, they have the Mameluk, they have the heavy camels, they have a lot of weapons and good siege. So this can make them uh, stronger in the late game. And I still think that they are they can be good because of the now that the camels are a bit stronger than in AOC. Yes. I like how the camels now are suffer less damage from arrows and can do more damage to buildings. So in AOC they were just like paper. Uh, even in uh, Vravi camels, I was not. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't be annoyed by heavy cam by heavy camels before I would just put my villagers on the TC right now those guys can take down TC so much more dangerous there's one thing that I like on the Saracens on the Wololo kingdoms they have a cheap market so I'm even thinking guys of spending 75 more wood what's this like one farm and make uh, a market if I have Carto from the start I can also take uh, good decisions eh? having Carto is really good what's happening Player 2 playing. What civilization he's playing? The Berber. So let's now analyze once again the enemies. Uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamese are an archer civilization. The only surprise I could have with them are the. Are the elephants. Oh, the game's back. Okay, let's go back to the game. Sorry. Man, what the fuck? The, now one guy there is lagging. It's lagging a lot. But really, what's the problem with those guys? Pausing, lagging, making the game much less enjoyable. I only found two goats. I will back my scouts because I think that the information about the third goat is more important. Loom? One of the enemies is already on Feudal Age and it's the Mayan. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. 
No. This map is kind of hard of defend. Look at this position. That's a terrible position. Oh, come on, man. Ah, oh, come on! Once again, I pause. <laughs> what the fuck is this, man? I cannot believe this guy uh, takes lots to start a game and now they are pausing a lot. Uh, honestly, this is why sometimes I just choose to play 1v1, much less complicated. If enemy save, if e someone drop, you just save and either start or something. And uh, now people are pausing a lot. <sighs> Wood, please. Honestly, man. I'm just uh, giving up on team games. After this game, I will rest. Yes. Because mm -hmm. I'm done with the pauses. Yes. What are we waiting for, man? Yes. Fuck this shit. Go. Let me check what Mayan's doing. I hope he's not coming egos to me. This map is really terrible to defend. <laughs> okay, I'm here seeing the Mayan. What's he doing? He lured here. Is he going for a at arm? A lot of guys on food. He seems like he's going for men at arms or something like. I don't know. I honestly have no clue what this guy's doing. Oh my god. And now people are t telling about uh, save and restore. Those guys are always complaining, man. Come on. It's not even a lag here and people are complaining. I cannot believe what I see, man. Let's see if things you will get better now because uh, some guys just start to, to pause and then we came back for the pause and I couldn't focus on the game and people were discussing pings and discussing if they should save or if they should not save. Uh, man, I, I don't like this. It's kind of break the my line of thinking. Eh? Anyway, let's go back and let's hope that now we can just go on with the games, man. I, I don't know. I. I remember playing AOC and we wouldn't pause this this much man we would just start a game keep with this do quick pause if needed long pauses would be something if you have an emergency or something I don't know okay, so let's go And now there's one guy complaining. It's not hard to to rage on the on these man. Yeah, I just want to play. The same guy who's now <laughs> was pausing is now complaining, man. Ah, oh my God. I will, I will stop reading the chat, I will just keep on focusing on the game. Let's hope no more than 5 pauses after this. 
losing my time here. Okay, let me send one villager here. Another one to the wood. These guys here are coming to the gold. Oh, and Vietnamese is making a market as well after the stable. Interesting. People are abusing of the market right now to get the free cartography and other bonus. I'm finishing my market as well. I just up. I make the blacksmith because I don't want to to make my ups much later. Now I can see what's happening and men at arms for the Mayans. That's what's happening. Oh my god, look at this. My ally tried to trying to defend himself against the men at arms. He's not doing a great job. Now he's doing archers. Okay. Let me send a villager to this wood here. This one has already six guys. I will make a few more. I will just send knights to the pocket, maybe, or to the Mayan. Let me see if I can raid the Mayan. If I'm ra uh, if I able to raid the Mayan, I'm going to raid him. If not, I'm going to the pocket. But I'm going to raid someone here. Knights were made to raid. Small palisade here. Ooh! Stonewalling. The Mayan guy is stonewalling. Interesting. So, I won't be able to raid this guy. This leaves me the Vietnamese. I will make camels at first. So if I first find out a uh, knight, I can kill them, and then I can focus on killing the villagers with the later on knights. So first it sees here, two camels, and now I'm going to make yet two more cavalry. No, I can't because I need to make the wood up. My economy is not going so well. I can buy food using the Saracen market to fix it and make just one more camel. The next to see, mm, this map is hard to decide where <laughs> where I'm going to put TCs. This is a bad map for TCs. But I just decided the next TC is going to be here on this spot. And now I have scout, I have the camels, I can try to kill the Vietnamese. If the Vietnamese is smart enough, he has a TC there. Yep, there's a TC. Not cool, man. But now my knights are coming. And they are going to, to defend the area for me. I will avoid the gold and will try to get another resource. I didn't I don't know all my what are all my raiding options. So let's hope I find something here. Allies are doing okay. Oh I find some wood, maybe there's a TC here. Oh yeah, there's a TC. So I just found his two TCs. Well it, it can't be worse right now, huh? If I know where I cannot raid. It means that everywhere I can raid, like this spot here. Ooh, house walled, smart one. This guy is defending good. He is protected by the TCs. No raiding spot for me. Eh? Oh, lost my scout. 
only losing things here. Let's kill his stable then. Oh my god, elephants! Vietnamese guy is making elephants, guys. The problem is that the elephants are too slow and I could spot them and react. I'm even making a monastery here so I can get this guy if he's trying to do to be a smart ass. Okay, I just killed an elephant. Oh my god, he's going to kill my camel. Nope, because I'm coming back here and I'm plan to use the monk to do the job. Killing yet another building. Oh, and he's doing a monk as well. Let me run. I just run. And someone on the chat suggests me, well, if you're not being able to raid this guy, why don't you go on the pocket? And man, this is a wonderful idea. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you for the idea, man. I will try to raid the other pocket because he was the one that was raging about the civilization. So maybe this guy just collapses after the 2v1. Oh, a villager. Oh, he quick walled the villager. No problem. We still try to kill it. I'm making this guy to spend wood here and of course dividing his attention. Vietnamese just trying to to boom maybe. Interesting. Could be a problem then. Of course, they all have cartography now, so it's easier to use the monks to help your allies. I didn't took this in consideration. The Vietnamese is full booming. Finally being able to kill a few villagers. That's nice. The only problem is that the Mayan is also booming. The Vietnamese guy has no armor at all. We can use this. Let's break a few houses, maybe this make him 
to lose some time. So, also, I should get stone. Oh, I just got a, I just got a mango now by mistake of my enemies here. And now I just got his monk. And now I just got up. Okay, let's go up. We are killing houses, killing a few villagers. Villagers here that were building stables. Oh my god! There's a million guy pushing there with plummets. This cannot be good in any way. So, what's my ally planning to do? Now the Mayans coming to fuck with us. Oh my god. Oh, but they are just uh, giving up. They are dead. GG. Okay, the Mayan could uh, give us some trouble here. But... <laughs> we just fucked Zaid so much. He tried to boom a lot and didn't have an answer to the uh, knight and camels. The other side was winning, and the Berber guy was owned by the Indian. It's hard to play ver against Indian, because they have really camels that cannot be countered by both uh, crossbows or or knights, huh? so it's hard. The Mayan guy had boomed and was pushing here with plummet archers, going to make his third castle, uh, but I don't think he would succeed, because my ally could make traps, I could make a lot of cavalry, to outmass him and eventually we would kill him. The Mayan also was not expanding his economy a lot. We could deal with this threat. Vietnamese was getting a lot late because of this attack on the farms, losing houses, a few villagers there. All his stables were not working properly because of the camels. And of course, with the Indian guy bringing all those camels to our side, this would count a lot to us, so... GG. Not much to tell about this game.